James I of Scotland once said... Oh, fuck. James I of Scotland once said, Since word is thrall and thought is free, keep well thy tongue, I counsel thee. And Mike Myers once said, My theory of Scottish cuisine is that it's all based on a dare. Cider made in a whiskey cask? I dare you. Welcome to Cider Insider. Welcome Cider fans, today on the show we've got the Whiskey Cask from Fisley Cross. Our Brayburn boffins over at craftynectar.com have sent us this crafty Scottish cider from the heart of Scotland. Fisley Cross are based in a shed in South Belton Farm in the heart of East Lothian. Hi East Lothian! Great countryside. Apart from being quite hard to pronounce when you're drunk, Fisley Cross are a cider company all about asking, why not? Farmer Ian and artist Peter started bottling their genius juice in 2008 and since then they've gone from strength to strength. They use Scottish apples and strawberries, fermented with champagne yeast and matured for six months to produce their core six ciders. The traditional, the original, the real strawberry, the real elderflower, the real ginger and this one, the whiskey cask. It's not just about those core six though, these guys really do ask why not. Earlier this year they released a Scottish cider brandy. Brand new. Anyway, this is their whiskey cask, matured in Oak Glenmoray whiskey casks. As the name implies. It apparently gives you a gentle whiskey flavour intermingled with a subtle and dry cider. It's coming in at 6.9% and as I said it was sent to us by our Braver Boffins over at CraftyNectar.com. So here we go cider fans, Thistly Cross Cider Whiskey Cask. Apparently every bottle's different, just as every whiskey is different. No matter who made it. Oh, I can smell that bacon bread. Oh my god, that's so yeasty. There we go, lovely clear golden, really, oh, not even golden, what am I about? Lovely clear green, pale green. Pale greens, pale greens. No head there, not much carbonation coming up, but yeah. Oh, it just looks crisp. And when I opened it, as I was pouring it, I'm smelling something, I don't know what it is. It's giving me the old Scottish whiff. Oh no, oh, well, that is. That is so big apple. Vanilla, I guess. Oaky, yeah, woody. Yeah, I'm just getting mega baking bread there. Really yeasty smell. But lovely sort of, lovely, yeah, it's that, it's that baking smell. It's that, it's that crust. It's crunchy, woody, bready. Mmm. Oh, that smells lovely. Oh, that is, mmm. Mmm. Oh, that is like, every great cider festival cider. Oh yeah. Oh that is going down an absolute knocking. Ah. Okay, apples, good start. Vanilla, oaky, bready. It's got that whiskey tang. Feels like all the booze coming from it is that whiskey, is that whiskey bite. It's kind of got like an orange juice level of acidity. Tastes a bit acidic, but it's a little bit sweet there as well. Um, before the flavor, I mean, in my mouth now, I'm getting very dry. Very woody, ah, nice vanilla sweetness coming through and then behind that is a really subtle, as they said, a really, really subtle dryness from the cider. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho, That just makes me want to sing. That makes me want to jump up, and sing, a, do a kilt and do a jig. It just feels like it's, feels like it's a granddad cider. Not like it's the one suitable for granddads, but it feels like this one is above all the other ciders like there. Like there. It's, it feels more mature and more developed. Oh, it's just the granddaddy of great ciders. Mm. Four, that's a contender for one of the best ciders we've had on the show. I want another one of those. I want a case of those. Thistly Cross, that is, that is off the hook good. Anyway, that's all from this episode of Cider Insider. Thanks to Crafty Nectar for sending us Thistly Cross's sublime whiskey cast cider. Subtle. Vanillary, fruity, acidic, just mature. It's a mature cider. Like we're mature on this show, aren't we? Boobs. Boobs. <laughs> yeah, so remember to subscribe if you like what you saw. Uh, comment in the box below if you've had one of these uh, gorgeous whiskey cast ciders, or if you've had any other cider from Scotland, how it compares to whoa, what we've had today on the show. And uh, coming up very soon on the show is this. What the fuck? Uh. What? Uh. Uh. What the fuck is?
is this stuff? No. So that looks like fun. Anyway, we'll see you next time here on Pint Sized. Thanks for watching. Cheers! Oh, that went everywhere. I just fully missed my mouth. Got it on my iPad and my leg. Ah! Oh, it's because it's 6.9%. I'm smelling it in and I'm just hammered.